episode 19 of the Sure Sales Group Show. Today we're going to talk about trust primarily. I came across a survey from Google and Google has a real estate division and the big thesis of their uh, survey was, or their big objective, was to find out what is most important to a consumer on Google when selecting a real estate agent. So pretty fascinating for real estate professionals to look at that and see what does Google, master of the universe Google, have to say about um, their consumers when they're looking for a real estate agent. So I was kind of shocked. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say shocked, but I was kind of intrigued at the data that they found. The number one thing by far, as you see here, 49.1% of everyone surveyed, and they had like millions of, uh, of data points in this, 49.1% came back to trust. So that kind of hit home and we want our clients to trust us. So a couple things that I was thinking of is a lot of, a lot of different data points can fall under the trust bucket. But when I think of trust, I'm thinking, does this person have my best interest at heart? Whether I'm looking to buy a home or looking to sell a home, does the agent that I'm trusting with this massive purchase where I'm likely borrowing hundreds of thousands of dollars in setting up my financial bloodline for generations to come, does that agent have my best interest at heart? Um, so that's a question every agent should ask themselves and every consumer should be thinking about, and they probably already are, um, whether it's conscious or not. And I also wrote down pleasure versus pain. You know, any time a human being is making a decision, this is like some psychology thing I heard, I think it's true, I'm not sure, but every decision we make, we are, you know, the basis of it is to move towards pleasure or move away from pain. So you wanna have a good experience and you wanna avoid a bad experience. And that's part of trust too. You wanna to trust that if you choose me to represent you, whether you're buying or selling, you're gonna to move towards a pleasurable experience and avoid tension, awkwardness, bad experience. Um, so that's what trust boils down to in my eyes. And that's what 49.1% of people are saying that is the most important thing when I'm picking an agent is trust. So I was just trying to come up with why should you trust us? If you don't know us or you haven't read up about what we do here at the Sure Sales Group, just check out our reviews. If you just Google Sure, S-U-R-E Baltimore, or, or any generic Google search, you'll, we'll come up. We have 132 five-star reviews on Zillow, 78 five-star reviews on Google, and 39 five-star reviews on Facebook. So that's about 249 people, social proof, that says, hey, I chose these guys. You should trust them as well because we were willing to put in public to our whole sphere, hey, five stars, these guys really took care of us. So that's trust. The next most important thing was expertise, which is kind of self-explanatory. Do they know what they're doing or are they new? So the proof's in the numbers. The numbers don't lie. In 2016, we did 324 transactions. This year, we're on pace to do over 400. So we're doing these transactions at a pretty high clip, almost more than one a day these days here in 2017. So, you know, going to Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour concept, I mean, I'm, I haven't been in the business as many, uh, as many years as a lot of my peers, but I've been in since 2012, and that's five years working probably 70 hours a week. I haven't had a weekend off since I've been in the uh, workforce here and there, but every weekend we work, and everyone on our team kind of has that same concept and culture behind we are always studying, looking to grow. How do we get better? How do we get our clients to trust us? And the proof's in the pudding. How do we get our clients to write us a five-star review so they can tell their friends, family members, and coworkers that, hey, I'm really glad I chose to work with the Sure Group. I'm really glad I called Andrew on them or Joe Sacchetti or any one of our awesome agents. So expertise is very important. Next, negotiation and demonstrating the ability to negotiate. So I'm good at negotiation. And I know everyone on our team is because we role play and we wouldn't let them work with one of our clients if they weren't good at it. How do I justify that and make that a valid comment to you? I've got all of the data right here. 
Here's an example of every house we have under contract. This is listings only because we have so many buyer deals. So I'll just, just make it a little bit easier on the data for listings. Houses we put up for sale where a seller trusted us to list and sell their house. Out of all the ones we have under contract, they've been on the market for 18 days. The median list price to contract price is 100%. Now median, now you know, playing with some stats there, I'm kind of cheating, the average is 98%. Pretty good. Out of the last 205 listings that we've sold, we get 96% of the list price median in 32 days. That's way better than average. And the reason we're able to get those is because we negotiate up. If you, I don't have this number, but if you look at where the original offer came in and where they ended up, there's gonna be a big delta there because we're good at negotiating on our client's benefit. We're not afraid to lose the deal. We sell enough homes, again, over 400 this year. I just want you as a seller or you as a buyer to say, I am so glad that I chose to work with them because they had my best interests at heart. So expertise, negotiation. The next biggest one, 11.8% is personal reference. So a referral, hey, Sally used them, so I, I trusted to use them because Sally does her due diligence and that makes me feel good. Well, 87% of my business, personally, I can't speak for everyone on the team, even though we do have the numbers, I took the easy way out and didn't uh, gather everyone's numbers, but 87% of my business is from referrals because I like working with people who are already kind of open to selecting me instead of door knocking, chasing down a lead, which we still do at a very high level. But I like to work with the personal reference. And again, everything we do is to make our team and ourselves as individual professionals and as a group, as a culture, as a brand, referable. We want to be easy to refer and we want you to feel good about referring us knowing that we're going to treat you with the level of respect that you'd want to be treated with. Personal reference is a big one. I love this one. I thought this one might be higher actually in today's give it to me now, everyone on the mobile phone uh, culture we live in. Do they work fast? 8.4% of the millions surveyed by Google said, I just want my agent to work fast. Well, I wrote here, test us on this. You go to any one of our websites, any property we're listing, call a sign. We get back, we call it speed to lead here as an industry term. We get back to people unbelievably fast on average and under the first five minutes. And we've had to work really, really hard to do that and take out some overhead and systems and admin. But we have what's called an inside sales agent. Danielle is sitting upstairs right now. Shout out to Danielle Wilt. Um, every time uh, we get a sign call, an internet lead, you know, I won't go through every source on how we get clients, but every one of them, if you reach out to us, Danielle will either answer the phone or call you back within the first five minutes to make sure we're giving you what you need. So we got this one really good. And I think that's why we do really well on Zillow and with our Boomtown, if you've seen some of our other videos, we're kind of high tech. And then last, now don't hate me Remax here, because we love Remax, we're affiliated with Remax sales, but brand was only 2.3%. So add all these up, I know what you're thinking, does that even add up to 100? It does, I checked. But the brand wasn't as big, and as I've, I've mentioned in other, in other videos, the agent, you know, Remax, Century 21, Keller Williams, Colwell Banker, Long & Foster, it, it doesn't really matter, the overarching brand, because who you're hiring is an individual human being, just like you're an individual. So the brand's not as important, and it, it kind of held true with Google survey. I wrote Buck Showalter here to remind me to say, as far as our brand goes here at the Sure Group, I like our guys. We have really good guys and girls working here and everyone has got the good positive attitude. We have a big sign in the main office that says no negativity because we're about not bitching about problems. We're about finding solutions and moving on so you can get what you want. That's it for episode 19, trust. And I'd like to ask for the opportunity to earn your trust next time you're looking to buy or sell a home. Thanks. Oh, by the way, on the trust concept, if you do trust the Sure Sales Group or you're one of the people who was kind enough to write a five-star review or you'd like to write a, a review for us, find us on Facebook, like our page, find us on Zillow. We're, we're everywhere. And anyone who does that and comments on this video wherever you see it, 
just say, I want a hat, and I got these in black, white, and camo. It's a flat brim Shergrew pack, great for the beach. And uh, if you'd rather, we also have our property management company in uh, the trucker hat style. So we'll deliver on this. Just say, hey, I want a hat. I trust Assure Sales Group, and uh, we'll have them waiting for you to pick up at the front desk, 3500 Boston Street, Remax Sales.